Sunday um, and I hope you have some amazing plans today. Um, I wanted to come on today and talk to you guys about the Moon Spell palette by Lunar Beauty. And I know this isn't new, um, but I haven't. I ha like I ordered this and I have not done anything with it. It's even dusty. That's like, so it's kind of a first impression. Um, I do have other palettes by Lunar Beauty. I have his um, Life's a Drag palette and then I have the, this one, which is um, the Strawberry Dream palette. And so I do have kind of a general idea of how his products perform and the quality of his eyeshadows. And um, his Life's a Drag palette, um, I think it's really beautiful. It isn't um, super usable for, well, half of it isn't super usable for me. It's my son. Um, but the quality of it is, is really nice. Like he made some pretty beautiful eyeshadows and then the, um, strawberry dream palette. I've kind of, is that what it's called? Yeah. Strawberry dream. You know, the packaging on this, I think that's where people are having to, um, having to put more creativity into now because of the fact that there is pretty much nothing you can buy anymore that hasn't already been done. So what is gonna catch someone's attention, uh, customer's attention, is the quality and the packaging. And because I mean, I'm sure like, there isn't anything in here we haven't seen before. You know what I mean? Like this isn't, there. the quality and, his uh, formulation is really, really, really nice. They're really pigmented. <laughs> We're not even supposed to be talking about this palette. I haven't done a review on this palette either though, but yeah, look how nice that is. Like, And that was just one swipe. And then here's the blue diamond. We'll just do this one really quick. Yeah, like look how pretty. Um, but I think that people are having to put more into the details of their packaging because of the fact that um, if it isn't a eye catcher, a, you know, an eye grabber, like an attention grabber, right, right off the sh bat when you walk past it at Sephora or on their website, you're probably going to pass by it if it is already something you sim have similar, but you're more likely to buy it, I think, if the packaging is so, so pretty. And on that one, I really like it. I think he did an amazing job with that. Um, and this one I really like. I think it's like his creativity and his packaging is awesome. He's doing like, he's knocking it out of the park. And I'm not even a fan of Danny. Not that I have anything against him. I don't watch him. Um, I, ever since all that drama and stuff happened with like Jeffree Star and, and all that, I just kind of wanted to stay away from that drama. So I, I didn't follow him anyway, but that was definitely me saying, I'm definitely not going to follow you now. Um, even though I think that he's been doing it from what I've been saying, like I haven't seen him on the drama channels. So, um, I think he's been doing a good job of staying kind of away from that, which is awesome because we need less drama in this world for sure. Um, but look at this. I think this is the cutest packaging. It looks like a book. I mean, everything's raised. It's this is so cute and I love books um I don't buy a lot of books I read on my nook um just because it's easier to carry around um but yeah I think that um this was an eye catcher for me because these are colors that I would use it is um a lot of little like pops of color but not so extremely bright that you're kind of afraid of them and they're a little bit more muted than what you're seeing in here. Like for instance, this one right here, I feel like this looks super intimidating, but that's this color, which is not uh, that bright. And then here, this one is Prue. I don't know who a lot of these witches are. That's Prue. And then, yeah, cause he named the colors out of um, like TV uh, characters. 
That one is um, Samantha. See, so these are like darker colors in the palette. Like this one was Samantha, the one I put on. And then Prue, um, or Phoebe. Oh, and I have Phoebe on here too, on my finger. No, I didn't, let's do Phoebe. No, yeah, that was the first one I did was Phoebe, sorry. So see how dark Phoebe looks? And then that's what it looks like on my hand. Wait, I'm gonna do another swatch. This is kind of becoming a little hard. That's Phoebe. See how they don't look the same? Like in this packaging, it looks super, super purple, right? But look at this, it's coming out pink. It's got a little bit of a glitter reflect in it. Um, like, so it's kind of like a dual chrome, but it is definitely not as um, intense as it is in the packaging. Um, let's see, Piper. Piper comes off. Piper seems to be a little bit more pigmented. Same thing. I mean, it looks, Piper looks really intense in the packaging on my hand. It's a little softer or like the swatch is softer, which I like um, because I'm not somebody that uses a lot of color. This is Fiona right there. Um, and it, we know swatches don't mean anything. I'm not swatching them to show you the quality or anything. I'm swatching to show you the color and how they come off. That one is, uh, what did I say, Fiona? Yeah, Fiona. And then we've got, let's do Sabrina, which is this really, really bright, super bright purple. Oh my gosh, that one is super bright. And my arms are ashy. I don't have any lotion on, so that is not gonna help them in any way. This one's a little bit patchy, but just, no, it's actually not really when I went over it again. It looks beautiful. Um, yeah, so they're wearable brights. Like he did, he did color in a user-friendly form in this one, as, as opposed to when he did, um, oh, I like this one, Bonnie. I don't have a wipe, so I cannot. I mean, I'm running out of fingers. Um, this is Bonnie. It looks kind of like a pukey green, but it looks yellow on my finger. Hmm. It's pretty. Um, I don't know what I would use that for, but it's pretty. Um, let's do Nancy. Nancy. I don't know what I'd use that for either, but it's really pretty. He made color usable as opposed to in um, the Life's a Drag palette. Those are like in your face, bam. Like if you don't, if you're afraid of color, you're not going to want that um, palette, even though half of it is neutrals. Because who wants a palette that they're only going to use half of? You know what I mean? Like that's ridiculous. He's, he's doing his own video over there. Um, yeah, so. I really like this palette. It's the weight of this is nice. His um don't kill me. I do not remember how much he charged for this. I'm thinking it was in the $50 price range, which is not ridiculous. I mean, for how many shades you get in this um palette. Let's see. For 15 shades, like that's really good. I mean, and they're big. They're the size of quarters. Let's try Hermione. Hermione? I know who she is, but I just can't think. I'm not sure if that's how you say her name. Ooh, that one's pretty. It's really soft, though. Like, see? They're not, like, super intense, which is okay. Like, I mean, not a, you don't always want an eyeshadow that is literally like you're sticking your hand in a pure pigment because that isn't user-friendly for the average everyday consumer like you and I like I can't do anything with a palette that if I stick my brush in it and I put it to my eye it's gonna like just leave a a big old patch of color and then takes me 15 minutes to <laughs> and then takes me 15 minutes to um, blend out like I don't have that kind of time I like stuff that's user-friendly easy to blend and can get me out the door when I need to on days when I have that extra time and I can just sit and drink my coffee and do my makeup and 
then that's okay. Like I have palettes like that, like his life is a drag palette, like my um, Kaleidos palette. These are not, although these are beautiful palettes, I don't think they're user friendly. Like if you're not a colorful wearer, these will be hard. They're super pigmented. Like you barely touch your brush to these and you're getting pigment. Like, I mean, like, hello. Like, you know what I mean? Like these are, let's put this next to one. That's one of Manny's. Oh yeah. You're getting, that's Kaleidos. And I'm gonna put this one next to one that's similar to one that's in Manny's. Oh my gosh, they're like almost the same color. So this is Kaleidos and this is Manny's. Um, but yeah, these I he I think he did a really good job. His packaging was amazing. I would love to be like if I had like space to store stuff, I would definitely um want this on display. He Manny is doing an awesome job. He's really killing it. Um, the only thing I haven't liked of his that I've tried is, uh, his lip glosses. Um, I don't like sticky and his are not sticky, but his are almost too far to the left. Um, they're almost like a, a lip oil and I don't like that feeling on my lips. Like it, I, I feel like I'm waiting for it to do something. Like I'm waiting for it to sink in and go away. I don't like that feeling. I don't like it to be sticky at all because I don't like that lippy thing and then I don't like my lips sticking together I don't like my hair sticking to my face and I also like I said in other videos I'm a nail tech so if I'm wearing lip gloss and it's super yeah. sticky I'm gonna have my mouth covered in dust so I like them to be right in the middle and his are way too much of a lip oil that's just not my preference I prefer um like let's see Offhand, the only one lip glosses I can really think of are like Persona lip glosses. I love the way they feel. Um, I like the Dior lip glosses, um, the ones that are clear. They're like plumping kind of ones. I like the way those feel. I like the Kylie Cosmetic um, lip glosses, those kind. Um, I have a couple of lip oils, but I've purchased them and they're clear and they're for something like they're because like if my lips are super dry and they actually sink in his don't they just stay on top and I know because they're meant to be lip glosses and just not sticky ones but they're just they're just too runny too oily and that's not my thing but with um his eyeshadow palettes he's killing it and I definitely will purchase more in the future so hopefully he comes out with um something more which we have plenty of neutrals in this world, I know. But I want to see his version of neutrals. I would really like to see him do a completely neutral palette, whether it's cool or warm, whatever. Um, but I don't mind people coming out with neutral palettes because they're coming out with their version of, of that. So, you know, I want to see what his version of that would be like because I like his formula. Um, I definitely want to try the Laura Lee Los Angeles um, Nudie Patootie palette. I'm thinking... <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna order that next um, just because I've watched a couple of videos and it looks fantastic and it looks like something I would definitely get a lot of use out of so yeah that might be coming soon I just have to decide I don't know I don't really like Laura Lee Los Angeles or Laura Lee like I don't like her content she's definitely not my speed um, she's more of like a I feel like goofy like her content is meant to be more like silly and stuff and I like more educational entertaining but we're also you know I don't know we're just not yeah but I, the palette's beautiful so I don't know I don't mind spending money on something even if I don't really care too much for the person but all right guys well I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday a great start to the rest of your week tomorrow and I will see you guys soon all right guys bye